Let's get ready for the festive season with today's video, which is how to do an evening holiday party glam makeup look. And I think you're gonna love it because I do too. Now, don't forget that I do have an online publication called Confessions of a Creative, where you can head over and check out my different articles on fashion, health, beauty, style, culture, a bit of everything written by me. I know you're gonna love it. There are two different types of subscription available. One is free where you get access to majority of the site. The other is paid and it costs literally just around a coffee a month. You're gonna love it. So please head over, show your support because I would really appreciate it. Now, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And I'm over on Instagram, so don't forget to come and say hi there. Let's get straight into it. So the festive season is finally here and I'm super excited about this because we're going to be doing a glam look. I feel like I haven't done a glam look in forever. So this is going to be really good. I'm super excited. Actually don't even know what my look's going to look like yet because you know how we roll over here. We literally just go with the flow and see what we end up creating. So I'm going to be starting with my skincare and this is something I've been using for quite a while now and I'm absolutely obsessed and I've got a special little treat for you guys. So you're gonna love it. So I'm gonna start with the Road Glazing Milk, which is something I use, like, it's like this. It's like a little bottle and then it's like milk. It's just, and it smells so good. So I am just gonna press this into my skin. I've heard a few of you, no, no, that came out right. I heard a few of you have actually started using this and you, 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 whoa, guys. <laughs> just like everything's intense today in terms of like my words not coming out. I mean, I am still recovering from my flu, so that's probably why. I heard that some of you have started using this because you've seen that I've started using this and you're loving it. And I'm really, really happy to hear that because honestly, this stuff has been amazing for me. By the way, FYI, there is a house fly somewhere in here. It's really been doing my head. It literally follows me everywhere in the house. And it's really annoying me. It's just not going. Just giving you a little warning. So this glazing milk, milk I absolutely love because it actually is really calming for my my skin and it just kind of gives me that extra boost of hydration. This has to be the one skincare line that I've used that I feel like I love everything within the line. Like it's not just one product. I love all of the products within the line and I use the entire skincare line. I can't even remember the last time that I used skincare products where I used the entire line. And this has to be the first one as for as long as I can remember. So every single one of them works so well on my skin. It's really, really good for sensitive skin. It's great for redness, great if you've broken out. It helps to actually clear your skin too and helps with kind of just dullness and helping your skin to look the healthier healthier, best version of itself. So after I've done that, I let that sink in and then I use my peptide glazing fluid, which is kind of an extra hydration layer. And it's like this cute little bottle. By the way, when you see this stuff, right, you're gonna say, okay, like the glazing milk is a pretty big bottle, but when you see the glazing, like the fluid and the cream, you're gonna be like, okay, it's quite small, but I can't begin to tell you how long this has lasted me. You literally need the smallest amount. One pump is enough and it genuinely lasts forever. No, well, it doesn't genuinely last forever, but you know, it lasts for a really long time. <laughs> I've been using it for like, I don't know, like three months. Now I let that sink in and then I move on to my moisturizer. And my moisturizer is my Road Barrier Restore Cream. And this is something, again, you don't actually need a lot of this because you know, this is your third layer of the skincare. I get not even a pea-sized amount. This is literally like a, I don't know, lentil <laughs> sized amount. Actually, no, lentil, there's like so many different shapes and sizes of lentil. This is like half a pea-sized amount. So then I just smoothed this over and you would never think that this amount of moisturizer is gonna be enough, but honestly it is. This stuff has been so refreshing for my skin. It has definitely evened out my skin tone. And that's something I've read from you guys as well. Like guys, the ones of you who have actually like transitioned over to road skincare have actually said the same thing to me that you really found that your the evenness in your skin is much better. So what I wanted to share with you was that you have a kit available which is like this and you basically get everything you need within this kit so if we open this up this opens up like this so what you have in here is you have the glazing milk so you've got the glazing milk that I first put on, then you have the peptide glazing fluid, and then you have the barrier restore cream, and then you have the lip peptide treatment which is amazing as well and I think you can just get the clear one in this, but honestly, I love the salted caramel. It's so good. This, you need to grab yours. Link in the description. Make sure you do grab it because honestly, it is just everything you need. And I know you're gonna love the skincare. It's amazing. And like the lip tide pe 
liptide. Did I say liptide? I meant the peptide lip treatment. Oh my God, like I'm seriously not with that. I keep like this in every place. Basically, I keep one in my brush drawer, brush like tree thing here. I keep one over there by my mirror when I'm getting ready day to day. And there's one in my bag and then there's one in the lounge. <laughs> They're just so good. I'm just gonna put some of my eye cream on and I am hoping that Rode come out with an eye cream because I reckon it's gonna be absolutely amazing. But in the meantime, I'm using my Drunk Elephant. Now we're doing a holiday evening glam, so I do want like really good coverage. So I'm gonna be using my Doll 10 foundation and this is in tan deep and I'm gonna just apply this with my brush. So I'm using my Sigma airbrush kabuki brush, which is my F85. And I am just gonna add a bit of this to the brush cause I can't be bothered to put it on my hand. And I'm just gonna like buff this into my skin. I'm just gonna do my base before I actually do any of my other makeup. And I am gonna be applying my foundation and then my concealer, which is not what you usually see with me. But again, I've mentioned on a recent video that the only reason I ever do it this way is just to switch it up so that this appeals to the people who prefer applying their concealer after foundation. I personally prefer applying my concealer before foundation, but you know, I don't wanna to totally rule people out, so. This is me just trying to, you know, include everyone. That's a really good foundation, by the way. The coverage is like so, so good. And the color is just really good for me at the moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply my concealer, which is gonna be on my eyes in that area. Let's just prep my eyelids. So I'm just gonna set my lids. That was just my Makeup Forever Ultra HD powder. Just press it in, dust off, so that that's your kind of like lids ready for any kind of eye makeup. Let's just go ahead and apply our concealer. I really do want a bit of a lift here because I just feel like my skin is still kind of like recovering from this illness. I mean, I'm making it sound like it was some major illness. It was just the flu, but it was felt like death. Anyway, I'm gonna just buff this in. Okay, so now I'm just gonna set this. I'm just gonna get my powder puff. And my powder. Just get my under eyes done. And just anywhere else, I want it to be super matte. Veil brush, powder. Let's just get this powder all over. And then I dust away this area last because it gives it a little bit of time to kind of like really melt into the skin. I swear I just saw that fly. I don't know where it's gone. Okay, we're gonna do the brows quickly. I've got my Surat's brow, like, I don't know what this is called, but I'll put it, oh my God, there's the fly. It is just making itself at home, like literally. Let's just get on with this. I don't even know what this is called, but it's like, it's really good. It just covers up any gray hairs that I have. I saw it. Oh my God, this fly is so annoying. Okay, so the rest of the brow, I am just gonna like do with my brow powder, which is my Benefit Goose Proof Powder and my Zoeva 317 brush. And I'm just gonna like, just kind of like sh shape my brows a bit. Because I have been ill with the flu, I haven't obviously put makeup on for forever. Like I did it the like yesterday when I was filming and I feel like, I don't know if you guys will get this, but you know when you just feel like you haven't done your brows in so long, so now you've like not forgotten how to do them, but they just don't come out right. And it's like, what was I doing before? Because right now I can't seem to just shake my brows. Okay, so I'm gonna be moving on to the eyes now. This is the exciting part. And I'm gonna be using my Huda Beauty Rose Quartz Palette because I haven't used it in forever. And I thought, why not? Let's just see what we can create from this. So I'm gonna get started with my base color. I'm gonna use the shade Gratitude and my E49 brush from Sigma. And I'm gonna get this into my socket area, but I'm really gonna focus on applying it to the outer corner. So right on this area here, kind of filling in that corner. And then I'm just gonna take it into the socket. 
So I'm using the tip of the brush. So you can see we've quite quickly kind of added this color here, filled out that outer corner. And let's drag this upwards and outwards here. Whoa, I just saw the fly. Let's go ahead and do that on the other eye. Oh my God, how annoying. This fly is just taking over this video. I don't want to spend like loads of time on the eyes because I really want you to be able to do this easily at home. I don't want to like, you know, spend so long that you're like, whoa, I just don't have that time. So we've basically shaded in the outer corner, brought it into the socket and then also dragged it out a little bit. And I'm kind of happy with that. So I'm going to now use a bit more of a kind of pointy brush, which is my E45. And then I'm going into the shade Aura, which is like this deep mulberry color, which is pretty nice, like almost creating a little wing. So just on the lash line, at the end of the lash line. And you can use your finger if you really want to kind of like drag it out a bit, kind of like easier for yourself. I'm just kind of darkening that wing area. This is my E30 brush and I'm going into the shade Gratitude. Let's just press this into the lower lashes. That's it. You don't need to actually spend too long on places like this because especially if you're using like a color which isn't really gonna show the edges that much, then it's really a case of just kind of like packing the color on and not having to worry about blending so much. I'm gonna go into Cosmic Love with my finger and I'm actually gonna apply this right in the center there. Wow, this is such a nice color. Don't worry about how it looks at the moment. We really just want to create like a nice strip there first. I'm just going to get my E30 brush and just kind of like drag where I've applied it. Just drag the edges so that it doesn't look like it's just like harsh. So it's not really a case of blending. It's just dragging the edges of where you've just applied this outwards and you can go ahead and apply more if you want more kind of like or just more you know just more <laughs> and I actually don't want to keep this just within the kind of lid area I want to take it up so don't be afraid to do that because actually it looks pretty nice especially if you have hooded eyes because it just takes it above it so that you can really still see it. So I'm really happy with that. I think what I wanna do now is just add something else. I'm gonna use the shade Cherished and I'm gonna apply this just kind of like on that inner corner there because this is really gonna to help to open up my eye a bit. I'm gonna get my E33 brush. I know I just applied it with the E30 but you can use either. But I'm going to use this because it's softer and it's going to help to just buff the edges out as well. And I'm really kind of like focusing on opening this inner corner out. Now what I want to do is add a bit of a shimmer to my lower lash line. So I'm going to use Moon Magic and I'm actually going to do this right under my lower lash line, but right in the middle. So you can see, I have a bit of shimmer underneath. Shimmer can be a bit messy, especially when it has like glitter in there, but trust me on the process. We're gonna be now adding a little bit of liner because why not? I've got my KVD tattoo liner and let's uh, like do our liner. So I'm gonna just go from the outer corner here, draw a little line and then f create the actual shape. There you go, and then fill this in. There you go, I don't actually want liner, like thick liner all the way across, so I wanna do it really thin. Yeah, so let's do the other flick. Okay, so we've got the eyeliner on. Let's get my mascara on. This is my Fenty Hella Thick. And then I'm gonna like take a look and see if I actually do need lashes. 
This is kind of one of those looks where you really need to trust the process. And it's once you've got your eyeliner and mascara on that you can really see the finished result. Otherwise, it can end up looking a bit kind of like crazy. So just bear that in mind that trusting the process is a whole thing. How much better does that look? It definitely looks better, right? I mean, already it looks so much better. I mean, already it's kind of done, but I really, really like it. So this is a super glam eye look. Now let's just sculpt the face a little bit so we can finish this whole thing off. I'm using my Made for Shade from one size, my Bronze and Sculpt Trio in Medium Dark Trio. And this is my Veil Brush. And let's just kind of like sculpt the cheeks a little bit. I don't actually think we need lashes with this because it might kind of like just overshadow the whole look. I'm literally just going to sculpt my nose really quickly. Okay, so this is my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. I want like a kind of glossy look. Right, I'm gonna use my Rode Peptide Lip Tint. This is in Jelly Bean. I'm loving this. This is so cute. This is also from Rode, if I didn't already mention. And it's just a really sheer candy pink. It's so nice. Link in my description for that too. So how are we liking this whole look? You could even take it up a notch and add some like hot pink blush. Why not? We're gonna go for the dual one, for the rosy glow in 001 pink. I always need a lot of this blush for it to even show. I guess it's just my skin color. This is my finished look, guys. What do you think? I feel like it really is like kind of holiday glam. I really like it. I feel like it's super glam. I haven't done super glam for so long. So I'm about to go take some pictures. And yeah, you'll probably see it on my Instagram soon. But I really do hope that you have enjoyed this. I hope it's something you guys are going to try too. And hopefully a different way that you can use that palette too. So sending you loads of love wherever you are in the world. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos until the next video. Take care and I'll see you soon.